uh, getting your motorcycle from uh, mainland US uh, through San Diego, the Tijuana, which is called the El Chap uh, Shell Chaparral uh, border crossing, into, um, into Baja and then on to Mexico. Okay, so the first thing you've got to do is when you get to uh, Tijuana, to get the border crossing, and I cannot emphasize this uh, enough. The first stop, you'll come around the corner and you'll see some gates and some men standing at the gates and some car parks to the right hand side of that. You have to stop there. There's nothing else. You go past that, it's all over. You can't turn back unless you want to spend three or four hours going back and then getting into the line to go from Mexico to the US, which will be a nightmare. So as you enter, the first point, even if they wave you through, just say, no, no, a duana, a duana. And, and then stop there on the right hand side, park your vehicle, and on the left hand side across the, across the way will be the, uh, will be the customs and the banner seat, I'm not gonna be able to say it correctly. And, that, and they're the two things that you need to uh, turn your attention to. Before you come into uh, Tijuana, I would suggest that you get copies of your passport, copies of your title, copies of your registration. If you don't own the vehicle, get a letter from your, uh, from your lease or, or your bank to say that it, uh, whoever you've got it from, uh, the lease from, um, to say that it's okay for you to travel to Mexico. Okay, get a signed copy from, from an authority that it is on the title of your, of your vehicle. Okay, if you do own your vehicle, that's fine. So let's, let's go through it. The first thing you're going to do is stop. The first stop you get to. Don't think, oh, there's another one just afterwards. It's the first stop. I was speaking with Alec, Chir Alec uh, Chacon, and he told me, he, he mentioned this to about 80 people, and only a handful, like three or four, actually stopped because they thought there was something more because it feels really weird. So when, as soon as you get there, they're probably just going to wave you on. But don't. You have to stop. So once you stop, you go and get your FMM tourist card. Okay, that allows you to travel uh, for up to 180 days anywhere in uh, Mexico. You need that, you do need that. Once you get that, ask for where you get a copy, a copy of it. So then you go and get a copy of it. This is before you go to, to, to get your aduana, your, your vehicle import permit. So once you've, got a, you, once you've got your FM tourist card and it's stamped, your passport stamped, they might not stamp your passport, but doesn't really matter if it's stamped or not. Um, but once you get your tourist card from customs, you then go next next door to the Bandacito, Bandacito, whatever it's called, and that's and and you've got your copy of your card. So you've got your card and your copy of your tourist card. Then you go next door. You present your uh, your copy of your passport, your original, and your copy of your passport, copy of your title, copy of your registration. They might not want your registration, but give it to them anyway. Uh, registration and if you if you if your car's leased or vehicle sorry your motorbike's leased then get a um, um, get have the letter from your thing. You also need your uh, insurance, although they didn't look at my insurance Mexico insurance for my vehicle. Okay, so once you've got all that, you have to pay, and you pay there at the Banacito, Banjuricito, whatever it's called. Um, you pay four hundred dollars for a two thousand and seven or newer model. You pay. Uh, from 2001 to 2006, it's 300 US dollars, and from 2000 backwards, uh, before 2000, it's uh, 200 dollars. You'll you'll pay that either in cash or with a credit card at the Banner Cito. Uh, so, um, if you want to pay by credit card, you've got to make sure that the name on the title is exactly the name on the credit card. And um, I'm, my name's Peter um, uh, Julian Julian Ritchie, and uh, on my title, but on my um, on my credit card, it's Peter J. Ritchie. So they, they wouldn't allow that. Not that they didn't allow it, but I'm told they won't allow that. Okay, so you'll have to have the cash. So have the cash before you get there. Have the copies of all the things. You know, if you're gonna be doing a fair bit of traveling, it's good to have about 10 copies of each of those things anyway. Your passport, your registration, and your title. And if you need be, a letter from your, your, your lease all. Okay? So once you've got that, you'll pay the money and they'll give you a sticker that will be put onto the front of your motorcycle. And that will allow you to uh, take the vehicle from, ba uh, from Baja, whether you go for, to Maslatan um, on the ferry or to any, uh, anywhere else onto the mainland, okay? You can ride your motorbike in uh, Baja, the whole Baja Peninsula. You can ride um, your motorbike there uh, without the vehicle import permit. But if you're gonna go further than that, you'll need to get it, um, you'll need to get uh, 
um, the import permit. Um, you can also get the import permit at the La Paz terminal. Um, you know, it, it's best to go there on a day that there's no ships sailing. I think they sail on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, best to go on a Monday or Wednesday or something like that um, because it's quieter. Um, if you do screw up your FM, FMM tourist card, I'm told you can go to Cabo San Lucas Airport and just pretend that you, because uh, the customs is outside the airport, just pretend that you just flew in and get a tourist card there and they'll just stamp it for you. But other than that, you're not going to be able to get a tourist card. And you can't get, you can't get uh, into, you can't get your aduana unless you've got your tourist card. So you have to have your tourist card. They'll ask for the tourist card and if you don't have it, you can't get it. So that's why the most important stop is when you first get in there to make sure you get your tourist card or else you're going to be running around afterwards and it's going to be painful. There's only a few places you can get them. You can't go to customs in any of the cities and get a tourist card. They won't give it to you unless it's, unless it's a destination from an international destination city. And there's only a couple of them in all of Baja Peninsula. So make sure you get that done or you're going to be up for nightmares. Okay? So that's how you get your vehicle um, into Mexico and get your tourist card. I hope, uh, I hope you find that benefit. I'll have some uh, information also in the description. Thank you.